It also, interestingly, is not just about seeming like a Bollywood script, but actually in real also has a Bollywood link. Let's get you all of those details. In 2010, seven young faces appeared on one of the globally acclaimed rich lists. Prominent among them was 31-year-old Dheeraj Vadhavan, scion of the Devan Housing and Finance Group. He, along with his brother, had a combined net worth of $650 million. Ironically, the list also comprised the disgraced Shivinder Singh and Malvinder Singh, Shahid Balwa of DB Group and Virend Maiskar of IRB Infra, all who have either spent time in jail or are under the scanner of various investigative agencies. Precisely 10 years later, the two Vadhavan brothers, Kapil and Dheeraj, were cooling their heels in jail, arrested for cheating and money laundering. It's been an incredible tale of rise and fall for the two high-flying brothers. The Vadhavans shifted to Mumbai from Delhi in the 1950s and soon found space in the metro's construction industry. The family built its fortunes from dealings in the Vasai and Virar areas of Mumbai. Their fortunes bloomed with the property market heating in the 2000s. Reportedly, their proximity to top politicians also helped. The Vadhavan's company, HDIL, cornered large slum redevelopment projects in Mumbai, including the nearly 2,000 crore rupee project to rehabilitate slum dwellers around the Mumbai airport. The project still remains incomplete. By 2010, Vadhavans were billionaires. A year later, the group split with Kapil and Dheeraj Vadhavan in control of DHFL and starting a new construction company. At their peak, the total housing loan portfolio of DHFL touched 980 billion rupees. Its deposits reached 102 billion dollars and the net worth hit 92 billion dollars. The family also dabbled with Bollywood, with brother Dheeraj producing films like Bazaar and Romeo Akbar Walter. It was financial contagion which spread from the collapse of ILNFS which took the Vadhavan brothers in. The fall started in September 2018 when the DHFL stock crashed 60%. A few months later came a report that the brothers had siphoned off 310 billion rupees. The free fall continued with lenders soon hounding the brothers. In April 2020, the brothers were arrested on charges of money laundering in a case related to Yes Bank and its promoter Rana Kapoor. Bureau Report, Business Today TV.